Hello, my name is Jason Collins. In this video, I discuss how insurance is considered first under expected utility theory and then under prospect theory. Insurance has a negative expected value due to the insurer's profit and administrative costs. Why would a consumer purchase insurance? The classical economic explanation for the purchase of insurance is based on diminishing marginal utility, which leads to risk aversion. Consumers are willing to buy insurance as the consumer prefers the certainty of the premium payment to the risk of suffering an uninsured loss. Prospect theory provides an alternative explanation. The purchase of insurance involves a certain loss, the premium, or a gamble involving the possibility of either a large loss or the status quo. As prospect theory has people as risk seeking in the loss domain, we would not expect them to purchase insurance. However, under prospect theory, people also overweight small probabilities. This overweighting of small probabilities can make the purchase of insurance attractive, even though it is in the loss domain. This combination of the loss domain with a small probability is the bottom right quadrant of the fourfold pattern to risk attitudes generated by prospect theory. People tend to be risk averse in this circumstance. The following numerical example is an illustration. An agent is considering insurance against bushfire for the house valued at H equals $1 million. The house has a 1 in 1000 P equals 0 0.001 chance of burning down. An insurer is willing to offer full coverage for a premium R of $1,100. Note, $1,000 is the actuarially fair price. The additional $100 might represent profit or administrative costs. The first question I will consider is whether a risk-neutral person would purchase the insurance. A risk-neutral utility function is U of X equals X. A risk-neutral agent will choose the option with the highest expected value. If the agent purchases insurance, they pay the premium and do not suffer any loss regardless of whether there is a bushfire or not. Therefore, the expected value of purchasing insurance is the loss of the premium. E of I equals negative R, which equals minus $1,100. The expected value of purchasing insurance is the guaranteed loss of the premium, $1,100. If the agent does not purchase insurance, they face the 1 in 1,000 possibility of an uninsured loss. Therefore, the expected value of not purchasing insurance is the probability of loss times the value of the house. The expected value of not purchasing insurance, E of not I, equals P times negative h, which equals negative 0 0.001 times 1 million, equals minus $1,000. The expected value of purchasing insurance is lower than the expected value of not purchasing insurance. Therefore, a risk-neutral agent would not purchase the insurance. Would a risk-averse agent purchase the insurance? Suppose they have a logarithmic utility function u of x equals ln x, and they have $10,000 in cash in addition to their house, giving them wealth of $1,010,000. The logarithmic utility function has diminishing marginal utility. Diminishing marginal utility is the principle that the marginal utility from each additional unit decreases. In the context of wealth, this means that each additional dollar provides less satisfaction than the previous one. Diminishing marginal utility means that the agent will be risk averse. They prefer a certain outcome to a gamble with the same expected value. To understand whether this risk averse agent will purchase insurance in this instance, we need to compare the expected utility of purchasing insurance with the expected utility of not purchasing insurance. The expected utility of purchasing insurance is the utility of the certain outcome which is the utility of wealth after paying the premium. E U of I equals U of W minus R, which equals 
the log of 1 million and 10,000 minus 1,100, which equals 13.8244. The expected utility of not purchasing insurance is the probability weighted sum of the utility of the two potential outcomes, the utility of wealth after losing the house and the utility of wealth if the house does not burn down. E u of not i equals p times u of w minus h plus 1 minus p times u of w, which equals 0 0.001 times log of 1 million and 10,000 minus 1 million plus 0 0.999 times log of 1 million and 10,000, which equals 13.8208. The expected utility of purchasing insurance is greater than the expected utility of not purchasing insurance. This agent will purchase insurance. The following diagrams illustrate. First, I plot the agent's utility function. The utility function is concave, as the agent is risk-averse. Each additional unit of wealth provides less utility than the previous unit. I then mark each possible outcome from purchasing or not purchasing insurance on the horizontal axis, and the utility of each of those outcomes on the vertical axis. These are wealth after losing the house when uninsured, W minus H, wealth after paying the insurance premium, W minus R, and wealth if uninsured but the house does not burn down, W. I've not drawn this to scale. The expected utility of not purchasing insurance is the probability weighted sum of the utility of the two potential outcomes utility of wealth after losing the house, and the utility of wealth if the house does not burn down. I can show this on the diagram by plotting a dash dot line between u w minus h and u of w. The expected utility of not purchasing insurance will be on this line. The location of the expected utility is determined by the probability p of incurring a loss. This point lies at a distance of p from u of w along the line, or equivalently, at a distance of 1 minus p from u w minus h. This point aligns with the expected value of leaving the house uninsured, e of not i. The utility of purchasing insurance, u of w minus r, is greater than the expected utility of not purchasing insurance, e u of not i. We can see this as u w minus r is above e u not i on the diagram. This risk averse agent will purchase insurance. I will now move on to the elements of prospect theory, introducing them one at a time. The first element is the reflection effect. Consider an agent who is risk seeking in, in the domain of losses, but weights probability linearly. Their value function is v of x equals x to the power of 0 0.8, where x is greater than or equal to 0, and minus 2 times minus x to the 0 0.8, where x is less than 0. x is the realized outcome relative to the reference point. The reflection effect occurs as this value function is concave in the gain domain and convex in the loss domain. This leads to risk averse and risk-seeking behaviour, respectively. In this analysis, we'll take the reference point as current wealth before the purchase of the insurance. Determination of the reference point can be arbitrary. What if you pay insurance every year? Would the reference point then be wealth minus the insurance payment, meaning the insurance payment is in the gain domain? In that case, the analysis changes. We can see the outcomes for an agent with a reference point of wealth before purchasing insurance on the following line, not drawn to scale. The outcomes are the premium payment, minus R, and the value of the house after a bushfire, minus H. If uninsured and no fire, the agent will remain at their reference point of the status quo.
taking the reference point as current wealth, would this agent purchase the insurance? We need to compare the weighted value of purchasing insurance with the weighted value of not purchasing insurance. The agent will purchase insurance if the weighted value of purchasing insurance is greater. The weighted value of purchasing insurance is the value of the certain outcome, which is the loss of the premium. V of I equals V of negative R, which equals minus 1100 to the power of 0 0.8 which equals minus 271.1. The weighted value of not purchasing insurance is the probability weighted sum of the value of the two potential outcomes, the value of wealth after losing the house and the value of wealth if the house does not burn down. V of not I equals the sum from I equals one to I equals N of PI V of XI which equals P times V of negative H plus one minus P times V of zero, which equals minus 0 0.001 times 1 million to the power of 0 0.8 plus 0 0.999 times zero, which equals minus 63.1. As the value of purchasing insurance, is less than the weighted value of not purchasing insurance, that is, V of I is less than V of not I, this agent does not purchase insurance. The diminishing feeling of loss leads them to weigh the certain loss of the premium relatively more heavily than the chance of losing the value of their house. Including loss aversion in the value function does not change the decision as all possible outcomes are in the loss domain. The following diagrams illustrate. First, I plot the agent's value function. The value function is concave in the gain domain and convex in the loss domain, leading to risk averse and risk seeking behavior respectively. Each additional gain or loss of a unit of wealth relative to the reference point results in a smaller change in value than the previous unit. There is diminishing sensitivity to both gains and losses. Each outcome and the value of that outcome from purchasing or not purchasing insurance is marked on the horizontal axis and the value of those outcomes are on the vertical axis. These are the premium payment minus R and the outcome after a bushfire minus H. If uninsured and no fire, the agent will remain at their reference point of the status quo. The weighted value of not purchasing insurance is the probability weighted sum of the value of the two potential outcomes, the value of wealth after losing the house and the reference point. I can show this on the diagram by plotting a dashed dot line between V of minus H and V of zero. The weighted value of not purchasing insurance will be on this line. The location of this point is determined by the probability P of incurring a loss. This point lies at a distance P from V of zero along the line, or equivalently at a distance of one minus P from V of minus H. This point aligns with the expected value of leaving the house uninsured, E of not I. The value of purchasing insurance, V of negative R, is less than the weighted value of not purchasing insurance, V of not I. The agent will not purchase insurance. They are risk seeking in the loss domain. Probability weighting. Would a person who is risk seeking in the domain of losses, that is, a person with the value function with the reflection effect above, who weights probability in accordance with prospect theory, purchase the insurance? Prospect theory proposes that people overweight small probabilities. They might weight probabilities as per the following table. That is, an outcome with a probability of P equals 0 0.001 is given a weight pi of P of 0 0.01, 10 times what its probability would suggest. An outcome with a probability of P equals 0 0.01 is given a weight of 0 0.05, five times the weight. Similarly, a probability of P equals 0 0.99 is given a weight of pi of P of 0 0.95, and a probability of P equals 0 
is given a weight pi of p of 0 0.99, implying that probabilities near certainty are underweighted relative to certainty itself. To assess whether this person will purchase insurance, we need to compare the weighted value of purchasing insurance with the weighted value of not purchasing insurance. They will purchase insurance if the weighted value of purchasing insurance is greater. The weighted value of purchasing insurance is the value of the certain outcome, which is the loss of the premium. V of i equals V of negative r equals minus 1100 to the power of 0 0.8, which equals minus 271. The weighted value of not purchasing insurance is the weighted sum of the value of the two potential outcomes, with the weights from the table above. V of not i equals the sum from i equals 1 to i equals n of pi pi, that is the weighted value of the probability, times V of xi, which equals pi of p times v, v of 0 plus pi of 1 minus p times V of minus h, which equals pi of 0 0.001 times V of minus 1 million plus pi of 0 0.999 times v of 0, which equals minus 0 0.01 times 1 million to the power of 0 0.8 plus 0 0.99 times 0, which equals minus 631. As the value of purchasing insurance is greater than the value of not purchasing insurance, that is, v of i is greater than v of not i, this person purchases insurance. Although the diminishing feeling of loss leads them to weight the certain loss of the premium relatively more heavily than the chance of losing the value of their house, the overweighting of the probability of fire leads them to purchase insurance. Again, if we had included loss aversion, it would not have changed the decision as all possible outcomes are in the loss domain.